So these factors in this equation, um, I'm going to have x squared plus 6x minus 7. Um, I could factor that as x plus 7, x minus 1. And x squared minus 1 is the difference of squares pattern. So x plus 1, x minus 1 would be the factored form. Now when I look at my denominators, I can see there's a group I can make up. So the lowest common denominator would be these three pieces, x plus 7, x plus 1, and I only need one of the x minus 1s. So that's what I'm going to multiply through by here. I would have x times x plus 7, x plus 1, and x minus 1. Then on the bottom, I already know this factors to x plus 7 and x minus 1. So I can see right away these factors can be removed. And I have to do the same thing to the other side. So again, I can see that these factors can be removed. And the equation that comes out of this is x times x plus 1 equals 4 times x plus 7. So x squared plus x is 4x plus 28. And x squared minus 3x minus 28 equals 0. And I recognize this as one I can factor, which would be x plus 7 and x minus 4. Oops, sorry, I've got that backwards. Should be minus 7 and plus 4. So the possible solutions I have is x equals 7 or negative 4. Now, if we go back and look, we just have to make sure that we didn't divide by 0, that these solutions are in fact in the domain. So when I go back to this original equation, here's the factored denominators. So I can see that from here, x can't be equal to negative 7, negative 1, or positive 1 or these pieces would end up being equal to 0, and I would divide by 0 in the original equation. So again, if I check, there's no problem. Both of these numbers are permissible values, so they're both solutions to this equation.